Okay, continuation. This is the next morning, 7 a.m. Yesterday, when I, after doing a vacuum and I did the silicone addition onto the o rings for the cylinders on to seal each one of the valves, put it back on a vacuum pump. And after, if you remember before, uh, within 15 minutes, the microns have decayed to roughly 1,200 microns. And last night, after four hours, the micron level decayed to 1,500 microns after four hours. Prior to the silicone, it was 1,200 microns within 15 minutes. And now this is the next morning and I started this, it was roughly uh, 10 p.m. last night when I started, 7 p.m. right now, and we decayed to 1600 microns. And we're basically holding right there. Now, 500 microns on a residential system would be your limit, but this has the hoses in there, all the valves are open. Uh, last night I brought in my used set of gauges since I used them on a job last night before I came home and I did not clean them out or put them under a deep vacuum. I did not use nitrogen on them. So the inside of the system, the hoses, the inside of the manifold, the bores, the valves and everything are coated with estro oil and refrigerant. And I threw it on the vacuum pump for about 60 seconds. And within 60 seconds it went all the way down to like 150 200 microns because it was on a running vacuum pump and then I closed off the valving so the micron sensor is only inside the manifold between all four valves so there's a long machined out chamber inside that ports down to every port and the micron sensor is in that chamber so since I have all the valves my decay went to 827 microns now that is the contamination of the ester oil that is sitting with inside the cylinder bore and here that is bored out the manifold. Uh, the little refrigerant from my very last job and every, everything like that has not been cleaned out. I just did a quick vacuum, close it off, and let it decay. And this is the contamination from within the cylinder bore. Now if I leave this one on for a long time and repeat that, not open to the hoses, but closed off, that will go much lower and actually stay, which you'll see in this one later on. Because on. right now, as you can see, the valves are open. There's a big gap right there. And here the valves are all closed. I will repeat that with this gauge and eliminating the hoses out of the equation. Right now the hoses, the vacuum decay is with the hoses on. So my next test will be eliminating the hoses again after it had the silicone and and this is grease not silicone as in the drying silicone this is silicone grease and running this vacuum again but this time closing off all the valving all right let's find out what happens